welcome back to my channel. Um, I did some mixed media work. I put some white gesso down on this uh, Amy Tan paper and then I just took some watercolors and just kind of like played around trying to make that black and white flowered background. Um, didn't really turn out how I envisioned it, but this is what I ended up with, so now we have to make it work. Um, so then I just kind of took a white piece of cardstock, tilted that, uh, watercolored paper, just to give it a little bit more interest, stuck some tissue paper behind my photo, and went ahead and stuck my photo down. Um, just because I was impatient and it was taking a while, and I knew that if I tried to videotape it, it would make me crazy. So I'm gonna take these two pieces of paper and give some border strips across there just to, well, to break up the mess that I have created. So, I'm gonna do, three inches on this one. And, three inches on this green one and I thought the black will bring in the black and the green. <laughs> no, I thought you bet you thought I was gonna say bring in the green, but there's a lot of green over here, but not so much over here. Um, because I actually think I was envisioning putting my I don't know. I don't really know what I was envisioning, but whatever it was. So I'm thinking about putting that there. And then this here, just to, uh, you know, break it up a bit. Maybe do it the other way, too. Maybe do it this way. What do you think? Yeah, I like it that way. So, now I need to and luckily there's gesso down, so it's not going to rip the paper. It's going to rip the tissue paper, but that's okay. It's just tissue paper. And it's just t tissue paper that I get, like, from... <laughs> where else, people? The dollar store. Um, so it's not anything... I have no idea if it's good to put on... Um, pictures. I guess one day we're going to find out. Now I am going to use liquid glue as well because as you know when you put gesso down and all this kind of mixed media um, things don't necessarily want to stick so I always add both the tape just so that I can get it down the dry adhesive it's got a pattern on it and I had to figure out I like it going like that better just get that on there the paper is so buckled Well, I'm having me a scrappy Saturday because who doesn't want to have a scrappy Saturday? Probably non-scrappers, but this channel isn't for them. <laughs> yeah, I've been drinking lots of coffee this morning and now I'm just going to turn over and I'm going to trim off the excess. And that white piece of paper is just as always the cheap inserts from the um, from your 12 by 12 albums. They come the ones that come with the white piece of paper. So it is just very thin. But I use it for backgrounds because I already have like way too much in my. Um, albums anyway so they're like oh super crazy dimensional so I try to 
you know, I know it's thin, but oh, makes me feel like maybe. All right, we're just gonna get that back down, and all that crumpled up tissue paper is giving it a little bit of depth. I'm gonna squeeze some more glue under here. Put a little pressure on that because the paper warps so bad, even when I I used so much water that when I did get it stuck down, it still wasn't gonna flatten out, so. But that's okay. So, I tend to scrap a lot, but you know, this is kind of my therapy and stress relief, and life is crazy and stressful, and I never really know what's gonna happen. So, um, as I've been doing, I kind of went through my big bulk kit and just grabbed a couple um, stickers, flat, die cuts, chipboard, and dimensionals, and then I don't really know what was over there. I just kind of threw those little things in there, and then I picked um, out of my product focus this month, I grabbed some of this, animals that are in green, some gold stars. I'm thinking about using beauty as the title, some puffy stars, and then just this, just trying to use up some of my stash. So, I am definitely, I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to stick that down. Make this one of my foundation clusters. And... That one over there. Make me have little ears. I'm gonna use this fun little tag somewhere. Mm. Usually what I do with like, cause it's two different ones and I got these from Michaels. I had a whole, they had a whole bunch of them on sale and they were like in the dollar bin. So I picked up one in every color. So I just kind of turn it but I may not I know I picked it up for the yellow because it's like the perfect yellow but it's brown and I am trying my hardest to like mix brown and black but it doesn't work out for me that way it's very hard <laughs> it's very hard for me to to mix the brown and the black so it's kind of the right color of green. Maybe we'll just, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with that one. All right, so we'll leave that because I don't know. I mean, I have no idea where I'm ever going to use a yellow slug bug, which is kind of funny because my mom actually has a yellow slug bug. <laughs> My dad got it for her for Christmas one year. It's kind of cute. Um, all right. And I'm just going to basically build up around the pitcher. Because I feel like that is probably... I don't really want to, you know, the mixed media is is going everywhere else so I'm just gonna just kind of randomly get some stuff in here see how it turns out you know just every which way that we can go it's probably gonna look weird but I just keep I just keep filling until um, until I feel like, you know, it's got a good look to it for me, that I think it looks good. So, let's bring a heart. This is a little puffy heart. Let's so bring him in over here. Mm. 
Um, hold off on that. And none of these really have anything to do with the picture. It's just a little selfie of me because I fill in a little. down today so I thought maybe just come in here and scrap but I really I mean there's no reason to fill down life is great <clears throat> the only problem with gluing things down is when you go to add so I have fun there so do I really want to have fun here Maybe not. <clears throat> a lot of green. But that's okay. I get this little piece here that says for the camera. Juices of pumping. I like that little green. You can do it. So I'm going to. Oh. It's a really good sticker, too. I think I'm gonna, I need to start building that one up, huh? Oh, any little animals I can get stuck on here? I got some trash, I need to get this in the trash bin. Mm, I likes to turtle. Every time I say turtle though, it makes me think of turtle, turtle, that movie. Anybody, anybody know what I'm talking about? in there just because it's cute have them facing out from the pictures this layout certainly did take on a very green vibe didn't it put oh sorry my hair is really high today <laughs> these are such cheap stickers from the dollar store oh oh I gotta go to the dollar store yes I do I gotta buy something for work I gotta make some kind of I'm like the crafty lady at work so when the boss called me in she was like hey <laughs> She's like, I know you're crafty, so she's like, I'm gonna pick your brain. I wanna do this, and what do you think we need to do this? And I was like, you just want me to go buy this? So she's like, yeah, we'll reimburse you. I'm like, well, I'm not worried about that. I'm going to the dollar store to get everything you want, for the love of God. But it always makes me feel good. Like, oh, they were all like, yep, we need something crafty done, so uh, everyone knows who to go to. Makes me feel good. I'm just going to put some of these little puffy guys around. I'm going to pull in some blue. Because there's some blue in here. I'm going to get some yellow. I don't know. I haven't crafted in a minute, so... Uh, I usually have to do something to like, you guys do that, like you gotta get it started again. You know, like you gotta get your mojo flowing. And I get the weekend all to myself, other than my son who, well he's, you know, 
He's my son, so he's always here, but, um, uh, my future husband, he's on a little retreat. He needed a break too. So he's having some guy time, some, some bonding time, I guess you would call it. I'm always sad when he's not home, but sometimes it's good to reassess. And I like this little green butterfly. I'm going to just keep it right there. And honestly, that's it. That's my layout. I think that I mean, I didn't think it was going to be this fabulous layout. I just needed something to just get started, and I wanted to play with watercolors, and usually, and I should just know better. I really should just know better, because once I start, I, <clears throat> I just, it's me. I know it's me. It's definitely user error, and I can't make it look right. This was just sitting on my desk, so, um. And then I just keep trying with it, and then it turns into that. <laughs> I mean, because, like, I watch, like, Missy Witten, and, I mean, oh, my God. I'm like, why do you, how do you make that look so easy? And, obviously, she doesn't answer me because I'm, I'm talking to her on the camera. But, uh. You know, it's like, jeez, I really honestly wish, but when I do it, it becomes like a big old blob of mess, you know? It's like, whoa, what were you trying to do? I don't know what I was trying to do. <clears throat> I wanted to bring a little bit orange because I had orange there and that little punch was sitting on my desk, so why not? All right. <clears throat> No journaling will be needed on this. I'll just probably add the date right down here. Um, thumbs up if you like the video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I upload. So far I have been fortunate enough to um, get a little ahead on my videos and, and um, put one a day up. So I'm just trying to catch what I'm doing now. I'm just getting in so in case I have a lull. 